Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me in Hydroneer today. So I did a little bit of digging off screen, and we'll go over here to our little mining pit. And as you can see, it's certainly gotten a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper. I got enough money to buy quite a few things because I don't think you guys wanted to watch me continuously put dirt into the pail, put the pail of dirt into the pan, put water in there, brush it off. That's a little boring. Uh, you're here to see the fun part. So as you can see, we still got a little bit of iron ore left over, quite a bit of uh, gold left over as well, and then some gems over here to uh, go along with that. So I got enough coin and I went ahead and put these four platforms down, and I also bought all of this up here as you can see uh, and today we'll be installing all these crafting items and using a lot of it so we have to start over here the crucible which is used in the furnace to melt things we have and then obviously the furnace which is used to to melt things using the crucible uh, and then this is the bar former so after something is melted you pour the liquid into there and that forms the bar we have the gem cutter the gem cutting wheel and then the anvil and hammer to craft that into weapons or jewelry so let's go ahead and bring this down here and we're going to enter the building mode. Uh, when I first played this game a long time ago when it came out, I didn't fully understand how the, the furnace and building mode worked. So I would do that. I would just drop it down. I didn't even know there was a building mode. And I'd put my crucible in there and I'd be like, what the hell? Does this take like five hours for us to heat up? And finally I learned that no, you have to right click, go into build mode and place it down. And now the furnace is on. See all that fire coming out of there? fantastic uh let's grab the anvil here and we'll go into build mode and then we'll put the anvil down right there and then the gem wheel or gem cutting wheel grab that and build mode and we'll put that right there so there is our little crafting area we'll grab the bar former so now this doesn't you can't put this in build mode you just have to drop it and it'll stay right here there we go Eventually we can get, and I'll show you guys here, there's a, uh, a building hammer. I think it's fairly cheap. It's like 45 gold or something like that. Uh, let's see here. Here it is. Uh, construction hammer, 42 gold or 42 coins. And you can use that to permanently affix things to the ground. So right now, if I come up and click on this and I click wrong, um, you know, I'll pick it up. And that's no fun, uh, especially when you're trying to do something quickly. So if you grab the building hammer, then you can click on the objects and they'll stay in place. And that just makes your life a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and grab the crucible here. And I'm thinking for the first thing, let's go ahead and get ourselves some iron ore melting. And we'll grab our big bucket. The other thing that is going to scare me here in a few seconds when I dump all this iron ore, there's a good chance it scatters all over the place. Uh, so we'll see if it scatters or if it stays as a group and just falls right into the crucible. And let's find out. And as you can see, part of it fell on the ground. Uh, it's a little frustrating. There are funnels and things you can eventually buy that help you move uh, one, you know, from one pan to a crucible and whatnot. So here, we're gonna sit and do this very slowly and painstakingly. Why I'm doing this and you're scratching your eyes out, don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below. I'm still looking for some tips and tricks as I progress through Hygieneer because I want to get to the automation stage. I've never made it past basically this initial stage where you dig some dirt and clean it in the pan. So let me know down in the comments how I can make the best autom automated mine because I know there's automation eventually. And as you can see, there we go. That's going to start to heat up. And in a few minutes, that will turn into liquid iron. And we'll pour it into the bar former and then be able to craft ourselves a weapon. So while that's doing that, we'll go ahead and keep mining. And I already got our first pail here and it's ready to go. So let's scrub a dub dub. All right. It looks like we got a couple pieces of gold. That's fantastic. And we'll dump that in this pail over here. Oops. All right, and there they go. And then we'll go fill this up with water. And then we'll be ready to do another load of dirt here in a second. Put this down, grab our pail of dirt. Let's see, this is why I cut all this out and did it all off screen, because this is rather boring, but that's okay. And that sound you just heard, that whoosh sound, is the iron melting. So let's um, grab our crucible. And here, I'll show you the melted iron. Yep, there's the melted iron. You saw that kind of in liquid form. And we'll dump that out. And fantastic. Now we've got ourselves an iron bar. 
eventually you can get a scale that'll tell you how much this weighs and you'll have an idea of what it'll uh, cost or get you. Um, now in order to craft, we so let's say we just drop this right here. Um, we want to make a, a dagger. So let's say we drop that, oops, that yeah, fell there. And then please stay on the hand, there we go, the anvil. Come up here and grab our hammer. And we're gonna go ahead and hit this. But wait, we can't, the iron bar is not changing. So after you make the iron bar, what you have to do is drop this in the furnace for a few seconds and you can see that's gonna start to heat up again. And it's getting a nice red color, nice red orange color. And you know, after 10, 15 seconds in the thing, Grab it with your hands, burn your hands, drop it back on the, the anvil, get your hammer, and bam, we've got ourselves a uh, pretty big dagger. So we'll drop our hammer there. Let's grab our dagger, and we can't swing it or anything. I wish we could. We're going to take this up to the jeweler and see how much we can get for it. Uh, I mean, we used quite a bit of iron and used... Um, yeah, quite a bit of iron, so hopefully we get like 100 coins for it. We'll see here in a few seconds. And we'll put this on their table. And they're set 141, that's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and sell that. And we'll grab 141 coins and take that back down. Um, just an FYI, I already have some gems cut uh, because I did some filming earlier. And for whatever reason, the audio is a little wonky. It like the the video for at my recording software at some point cut out but it still recorded sound and it didn't record audio or excuse me uh it recorded audio but didn't record uh video so i had to reset all of this but that's okay it means i even got more money ready to go so let's go ahead and dump our gold into the crucible and all of it made it in on the first time that is fantastic so let's go ahead and we'll put our pail back down there or our pan or whatever those are called. And let's go ahead and get our crucible in here. So while that's heating up, let's uh, let's grind some gemstones. I think I've got a couple a ruby and a couple emeralds or something like that. So we'll bring our pan over here, put that on the ground. And as you can see, there's a couple shards and I already cut a sapphire and I think there's a cut emerald in there somewhere as well. There it is. All right, so we've got ourselves an uncut emerald. Uh, and we let's go up to the store and I'll show you. I believe on cut jewelry sells for like five or six coins uh, It's not not anything super crazy So we're gonna make the long hike all the way back up here to the jeweler. Hello, mr. Jeweler What would you buy an uncut emerald for four coins? So not a lot um, Now let's bring this all the way back down and we'll cut it and then we'll come back and we'll see how much that increases in price. Usually it increases to like uh, double or triple in price once it's been cut. Uh, but we'll see what it says. So really easy to cut. You just click on the wheel and now we have a cut emerald. Um, and you can see the description in the bottom. An emerald gem can be crafted into a ring or necklace or sold at the stocks or jeweler. We will not be selling this because we will be using this to craft ourselves a nice little gold ring with an emerald in it. And then selling that. All right, so we're back up here, and it was four originally. Now it's worth seven, so I gained three uh, to cut that. So not that much um, increase in price. So it almost, I would say it's almost not recommended, but obviously, you know, it, it does increase it. All right, so we're back here. I'm assuming our gold has melted at this point i didn't hear the sound let's go ahead and switch this over i'm just right clicking on excuse me left clicking on this and there we go ring with a gem in it and our gold has melted so we'll grab our crucible and pour it into the bar former there we go and we'll put that back on the ground grab our gold bar and heat that up and i would say that is plenty heated at this point and we'll drop it on the anvil as well. There we go. And our crafting hammer, there it is. And let's go ahead and wallop on the anvil. And we got ourselves a BEA beautiful emerald ring right there. Let's pick that up. Yeah, you can see that nice emerald ring, a crafted emerald ring ready to be sold at the stock market or jeweler. So we'll hike this up the hill. So we know the emerald was worth seven cut. 
Uh, we don't know exactly how much our gold was worth, but I'm assuming this will be worth like 75 coins. We'll see here in a second. 149. Oh, I was off by almost half. So yeah, we're definitely going to sell that. And we'll grab the coins there and go hike down the hill. And we've got like 300 coins. Uh, I think we can buy some water pipes and kind of not automate, but at least make it easier when it comes for us to getting water. So let's go ahead and put these coins in there. So what do we got? Like 300? 300 on the dot. Look at that. All right. So water pipes. Um, you can start with this intake water pipe. Uh, so it's going to pump water into our system. So we'll go ahead and drop that down here. And then we'll need... Uh, do I want a valve? Yeah, I'm going to want a valve pipe because it does get annoying to hear the drip, 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 drip all the time. And then we'll probably need like uh three or four straight pipes so let's go ahead and start with three pipes two three and let's see how much money we have left after 124 so we're doing good on coin and then let's buy let's buy a can we get an improved shovel Let's see, 78. See, so an improved shovel will do it in two shovel loads instead of the four. Um, let's hold off on that. Let's just go ahead and get this water pipe set up. Go grab our little cart, because I think we can load all that into the cart instead of carrying it over here one by one. All right, so we got our little wooden cart. And you can hear it in the background. It's wheels on the dirt. That's pretty cool. All right, let's bring this over here. And let's see if I can back it in. Nope, I missed it. All right, well, obviously, I'm not very good at backing things in. All right, let's try this. Okay, uh -huh. I think that's close enough. Uh -huh. All right, now it's not uh -huh. letting me get out. There we go. That was uh, weird. Anyways, close enough for me. So let's go ahead and buy these, and let's load them up on the cart. Um, that got shot all the way over there. That's interesting, but we found it. It at least didn't go off into the stratosphere. When the game first came out, there was certainly a, uh, an issue with that where you drop something and if it hit just right, it would fling off into to space. And there are plenty of videos out there that you guys can look up where someone, you know, they'll be driving in the little tractor and they'll hit a pan and the pan will fly off into to outer space and never be seen again. So there, there was certainly some uh, physics issues in the original release. Uh, okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, I think I can get everything in there. That's all right. That's all right indeed. Get another water pipe here. And we'll hop on up. Oops. And drop her in. All right, two. And we just need this last guy here. And we'll be ready. We should probably also probably come back and buy a platform so we can rest everything on. There we go. And everything's loaded on the little cart. And let's go ahead and get in the cart. And take all this over here to our water. Avoiding our mine hole so we don't fall into that. All right. And we'll drop this off here. So let's grab the water intake pipe. And we'll go into build mode. There we go, and let's rotate this so that's pointing that way. There we go, and it's not saying it's in the water, so let's try that again. And let's try that there. There we go. And so now that that's in the water, you can see it's pumping out a drop of water, and you can see, here, let's be quiet for a second. All right, if you heard that while you were mining, that would get extremely annoying, so that's why I bought the valve pipe. So we can turn that off. Uh, we'll put that right. There we go. Now we're in build mode. And the piping is a little wonky sometimes. You got to line it up perfectly. There we go. So now the pipe is closed. We can open it and it lets the water out or we can close it and no water. So that is nice. And let's go ahead and grab our three straight pipes and install those as well. So one, and the next one, 
two, and then let's get our third, and three. Hmm, we probably should, actually I'm thinking we might move this over a little bit here. Let's see, can I move the whole thing or does it just move this piece? All right, it just moves this piece. Well, just for the sake of showing you guys how it works, I will, uh, let's plug this back in and then off screen I will move this over and probably straighten it a little bit more. Or maybe, yeah, I think I'm gonna move it over to here. So it's draining out kind of like right there. Um, all right, so let's turn her on. And there's the water you can see dripping out there. And we'll grab our pail, uh, which already has water and dirt in it. So let's go ahead and scrub it up dub. And there's some gold and iron ore in it. And we'll drop our iron ore in this pan. And then we'll dump the gold ore in this one. Oh, and they both, oh, is that an emerald? Uh, that's not gold in there. We'll have to dig that emerald out. All right, so this is currently empty, right? Oh, and it got water in it accidentally when I was uh, standing next to it. So let's dump that out. All right, so that water's out. So what normally I would do is put a little platform there, and then we can get water in there by putting it underneath the platform or underneath the pipe on the platform. So we'll drop that. Okay, maybe we won't drop that right there. Let's try this again. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay, we're just gonna hold it and get water in it that way. All right, so there you go. And there there's water in it. So that's how the piping system works. Uh, sorry for the confusion on that. I will certainly improve that and make it look better for the next video. Thank you so much for coming out. Today we set up our little crafting area and that was kind of my goal for this episode. We got our furnace set up, our gem cutting wheel, the anvil. We made ourselves a pretty big dagger and a nice emerald ring. Uh, we messed around with the water pipes and I'm going to fix that off screen so you guys can see how it's actually supposed to work and not me fiddling around with it and looking like a dingbat. But that's okay. I will certainly make that better for you guys. Don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below both on what you think of Hydroneer. If you got yourself a little mine going, let me know how it runs so I can take the best and steal that and turn it into my little mine. And then please don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming Channel so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next Hydroneer video.